Well, good afternoon, how the doody, and welcome to another one. And somewhere completely different this time, we're at the seaside. Well, not exactly the sea as such, it's the inlet to the river. As you can see, we're all going to come away with two words because that's the power station over there. And we're on a group meetup. We have met Bride just over there, he's arranged this KNF meetup. So if you're interested in filters out like that, then he's the guy to see. But we are at Pullover Scar Lighthouse. You see just there. And we're here for sunset. Don't look much at the minute, but why we're here is because the low tide is bang on for when the sunset is supposed to happen. That's if we get a break in the cloud. It did forecast a slight break of low cloud round about sunset time and medium to high cloud, which if it breaks the bottom, which will it'll be ideal. But because normally all this is all covered. You've got low line cloud over the fells over there. The little white house over there just looks absolutely spot on to be honest. So I might have to get a shot of that with the clouds at the background. But for the time being, you've just seen the composition on the back of the camera. Just taking these two rocks in. The tide is going out because when we first got here, the tide was around the rocks. So put the eight stop filter in around about. Eight, eight to ten seconds, just smooth it out. So for the first shot of the day, I'll, um, I'll bob this in for you, because it's yeah, nice and minimalist all this. A nice black and white one to start with, while we keep us fingers crossed for that sunset. <laughs> I'll just slightly move around a bit now. This one where we're over there, I'm just, I'm just going to work my way around this side here. So I started over there, I've got a time lapse going over there as well. It's working its way around. I've just got an image with this rock just there. Try to get a reflection, but with the wind, it's a bit, probably a bit difficult. But I've just come around this pool here. But the composition leads you in from this left hand side. Slight reflection of the lighthouse just there. And then leads up onto the lighthouse. The tide is going out fast because the two big rocks that we were shooting a while ago they're not completely in the open so I hope that first image <laughs> worked because I want time to get a second one but yeah but for the time being I'll bob these two on for you I will probably make one of, one of them black and white anyway just with this sky at the moment but we are getting a break over there up towards Blackpool so yeah we'll see what happens anyway but it's looking quite mean and moody over there. I think I'm going to put the long lens on and shoot that white house against that dark background because that's, that's looking quite interesting, is that? But for the time being, I'll bob these on for you anyway. next composition and we're more or less in the sea and somebody doesn't want to be on camera but she is now <laughs> so anyway back to this composition wise I've got these rocks all just leading you straight in I've had to sw swap to the Sigma the wide angle the 16 mil at the minute because the clouds are absolutely fantastic right above the light that's look get down low that's what it's looking like at the minute so fingers crossed, we are still hoping for that sunset. But on the back of the camera, I'm having to bracket this. Just, I don't want to put a, a filter on because it's going to darken that lighthouse too much. But you've got these all little groins sticking up as well. And the contours of this rock, yeah, it's making it, making it pop is this. So yeah, I'll bob this one on for you. And wherever, waiting. Just waiting now for this sunset.
Uh, I'll come a bit further out into the sea, <laughs> as you can see. See, see. So I've got a vertical orientation, which I've just done. I've now changed it to horizontal. I've put the lighthouse on the left-hand third, just to try and get this sky. Because this sky, look at it, it's absolutely fantastic at the minute. Just starting to get all mottled and everything. We have got a few light rays as well coming down in the distance. We're still keeping them fingers crossed. Everyone's starting to make their way out now. As this tide's receding, it's exposing some rocks, so we can start to get to these rocks here. So yeah, it's looking very nice, is this? Above these two, for anyway, for the time being. Still got a time lots going over there. That's about somewhere, so I'll have to go pick that up in a bit. But yeah, it's all about this sky now and the lighthouse. But with us having the wide angle lens on, it does distort it a bit, so I'm going to have to try and mess around with a bit of that in post. But yeah, apart from that, these shots will be on now for you. I've just put the camera a little bit lower now and I've got the polarizer on now just to try and cut the glare off this thing now off all this these little pools that are becoming exposed again I want a vertical orientation we have just had Pete there doing a bit of modeling on the side so yeah big, a nice silhouette left on the side with that but yeah what I'll do for the time being I'll bob this one for you and ever getting close to that sunset so yeah it is breaking up on the horizon we have got plenty of cloud here, so yeah, when the sun drops below that open cloud, it should should light up. Well, that's what we're hoping anyway. <laughs> Until then, I'll bob these images on now for you. I've just moved a little bit further around. All the barnacles there, so that's what I've stood on before. But now, with a wide angle, just getting this on the right hand side so it brings you around as well. Back to the lighthouse, the sun is breaking through the bottom side. So yeah, it is. It's looking rather nice, is this one. So I've still got the polarizer on, just down in this foreground down. But yeah, these barnacles just bring you around lovely. So yeah, another one for you. So yeah, I hope that time lapse is still going because I've left it over there. So it's going to have us all us lot in, just all in one, one side here, look. But yeah, this is looking quite nice, is this? I'm still sticking with the same composition, but we're just getting a few light rays now coming down this side at the right hand side. So it has just hit the cloud now. So hopefully another five, ten minutes, hopefully it'll break below the cloud. Whether it does or not, I don't know, but it's certainly making some nice, nice mood images of this. Everyone has got a few different compositions around here, but all just gathered around this side, making use of these rocks and stuff around here. So yeah, it's looking quite interesting, is this? So yeah, nice. Nice few images, I think, out of this for my first visit to Pullover Scar. Video, the um, the mic decided to go flat so what I was saying this was going to be the final image 
of the day. Obviously, we did get snubbed out by the by the cloud, unfortunately. So yeah, these will be the last few weeks on here. And what I was saying here, a big thank you to Raymond McBride and everyone else on the KNF meetup. Cracking set of people around there, all helping each other out. Great bunch of people, the lot. So anyway, I want to say thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. And any filters or anything you want from KNF Concept, please give Raymond a shout over on Facebook and that. He'll sort you out. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'll leave you all with the final images and see you again on the next one. So yeah, thank you very much. Bye for now.